Well, it's very difficult um, for, for the people to uh, cope with this situation. Spain has Europe's second highest coronavirus death toll behind Italy, and its nearly 8,000 fatalities have now surpassed China. With the elderly at high risk, nursing homes in Spain have been overwhelmed by the number of infections. There are reports of dire conditions with dead bodies left in beds for hours. Relatives are worried about their loved ones, but they've been banned from visiting. A burial in hazmat suits. One of thousands of victims of the coronavirus outbreak in Spain. Hospital staff in Madrid don't need to see the statistics to know Spain does not yet have a handle on the epidemic. It has been a deadly week for the country, second in daily fatalities only to Italy. A shortage of equipment and medical staff has left doctors and nurses overwhelmed. Amnesty International reports that over 9,000 Spanish health service workers have become infected with the virus, more than in any other country. Spain has been one of the hardest hit countries by the pandemic. Experts estimate over half a million people are likely infected. Is Spain now reaching the peak of the crisis, you think? People have been uh, applauding and cheering uh, to the health workers at the balconies, but now it's getting more and more complicated, uh, complicated to uh, keep up with that uh, high spirit because it looks like we are probably losing the battle at this moment. That's the, the feeling in Madrid that we are not uh, doing enough to save the lives of, of the people that are infected.